Hello, y'all. This is Todd from Reaport Yourself. How's everybody doing today? Guys, I'm going to show you a little bit on the sawmill today. Show you what we got going on. See the rain coming down. It's hot. It's nasty. It's raining. And you name it, it's been going on around here. Hope y'all enjoy. I'm going to explain everything as we go. All right, we got Wayne a good log up there. He's fixing to start chopping on a good 16 foot log right here. Got a little bow at the end, but it's a nice log. And he's cutting some slats right this minute. He's trying to straighten it up. Well, these going to be some more before what he's taking out of it. Those coil pieces on the side. Got a bunch of knots in and he's trying to straighten it up. You see how it's in a little bit of an angle? He don't have it straight up and down. He got to work on it. It's got a bunch of knots in it. Yeah, what I want to talk to you about, I'm going to show you the sawmill. I had my back surgery last Thursday. It's been a little over a week. Today is actually Saturday. And I'm not supposed to pick up over five pounds. That's hard to do. But I'm doing it. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Let this try to heal up. What they did is went in there where I had some blowed out disc. They cut the disc off of the nerve in order to quit pinching down my leg. Maybe it'll quit hurting so bad. Five weeks, five pounds, it's hard to do. But I'm gonna do it. Wayne's helping me out, Jerry's helping me out. Oh, excuse me. Been having a lot going on. Mama's heart started messing up on her. She's been in a street port in the hospital. They got a pacemaker put in. And she's 80 years old. She's, she's getting up there. She's had both hips uh, replaced, knee replaced. Now the heart's messing up, but she's been in bed so long that she can't get up and walk now. And they got her in a, uh, a rehab, trying to get her back on her feet. So we fighting all this. We got a lot going on. Jared's been having bad asthma attacks. So she's on some steroids to knock that down. And when you take steroids, that jumps your blood pressure high. So she's been, she's been battling. She, she's tough. She knows what to take. She's got the medicine to take it. But it's just it's just part of the dysautonomia of what she's got. I'm trying to get in there and get some uh, more footage on the pottery house, show y'all what's going on. I'm going to probably slip over there and show y'all the inside. She don't have it ready yet, but I'm still going to show y'all while Wayne's over here cutting this smaller stuff. Let me go show you the inside of that building. Hey, everybody that comes over here loves to look at this little building. This is her she shed. No, it's not complete, but I'm gonna still show y'all anyway. And yeah, I need to pick that light up on this side. It's hanging down a little bit. That is uh, cedar over pine. I still got all the stripping to do and all the trimming out to do, but kind of get an idea. Hello, Mr. Guineas. Them things there cause a racket. They let you know when somebody's coming. All right, this is the shelving that we're working on this side. That's some of our different glazes and paints right there. Like you see, it's still a mess in here, but I'm gonna show y'all anyway. There's some of the stuff we're making. Mm, y'all notice that cuff right there. Y'all see what that says? Mm-hmm, some good friends of ours. Awesome channel, y'all need to check them out. That's her kiln. Turn around this way. That's her drying rack. What you're seeing right there, I see there's actually two or three of them in there. That's chip and dip bowls. Guys, I had a Couple of men here was here yesterday and they wanted to check out this place. I showed them Jerry Chief said everybody wants to see this thing because they like the looks of it on the outside. Let me show y'all this right here. One of the guys got a kick out of this thing right here. All that is is just an outdoor sink. Got some scrap cedar we wrapped around it. And on the top this pipe comes in. I had to figure out a way to cover that pipe up. It's got PEX pipe coming up. Just a regular faucet to where we could actually put 
a hose on it to move it around in here when you need to to fill your buckets up. But he got a kick out of that. Just some little ingenuity to get done what we needed to get done. He said, I need to show that. So that's why I showed y'all. He had to film it and put it on Instagram and everything else. I mean, he got a kick out of it. As soon as Jerry starts feeling better, we get in here and finish some videos out that so she's making. She can start making some pottery. She does awesome work, makes some beautiful stuff when she's got time and feels like coming in here and doing it. When she's got enough energy, she gets up and she catch up with the house again because she'll get down on the house. When she's sick, she's got to catch back up with that. You know who it is. It's, it's always something. It's just life. Life's always throwing speed bumps in the road. But that's her little pottery shed right there. Won't be long before the trailer gets out of here. As soon as this nasty weather clears up a little bit, we'll get the trailer out of here. And where the trailer is, is going to be a big shed built. And we can start stacking lumber up underneath it. The business is growing. Well, the wood's growing around here. I got wood everywhere. But we need to get it up out of the weather. Get it up off the ground, stacked up. So, I mean, we got a lot of projects going on. A lot of stuff. Let's get back over there and see what Wayne's up to. fall tape kind of hard to do with one hand you know, about 21 and a half inch log 16 foot long it's got a little crook on the end coming up but not too bad this is actually a small end let's see what we can get out of it we've got the steel up there nothing to go by so we're just going to keep whittling on this end that way we can get down to where we work with on these big logs this is the easiest way without hydraulics that we found to roll these logs see we're maxed out as far as the side right here i hear that thunder a thunder a rapping Tater wagon rolling. A tater wagon rolling, huh? So we're fixing to roll this log a little bit.
right, while Wayne's working on that log, I'm gonna show y'all what's going on with the edger. Somebody asked the other day, what about the edger? You showed us starting on it and not finishing. Guys, we've been waiting on different stuff to work with. Let me show you what's going on with this edger. All right, we got the little tractor set up. Got the pulley system set up on it. It runs the main shaft. We went from electric motor to the PTO on the back of the tractor. Okay, we're having to make some belts. We're trying these, see if they're gonna work. That is your regular old pull straps. We're making the belts to go on it. Them belts down there, all they do is run this top piece up here. That's what helps pull the logs. Okay, that's saw bit. Saw blades set up, the deck set up. Got a roller bed on each side. Now it's not welded down or nothing yet. We're still trying to get everything set perfect. Your roller bed on the back side. That is a six by six that we run through there. It's actually five and three eighths by five and three eighths perfect. And it's perfectly square. That's what we're trying to get. If you hadn't seen the first videos on this uh, edger, where it come from, it is, if I'm not mistaken, it's a 1914. It is very, very old, very heavy. A 50 horse tractor will just pick up one end of it. It will not even pick the whole thing up. It is back, back when they made real iron. It's very, very heavy. We're having a little bit of uh, bearing issues. We're having to take stuff apart, all of them. Everything on here is it's uh, the kind of bearing that you pour the oil on top of the bearing. I'm not sure what you call them, but some of you people that's been around stuff like this will understand what I'm talking about. You don't pump grease into the bearing. You pour oil on top of it. And it just kind of, it's kind of like a reservoir. And it just self-feeds the oil to it. But that's what it's got in it. We're getting everything freed up. From the rollers to the machine, everything was froze up. It's been sitting up for many, many years. But well, we actually got it running, run this through. We got a few more issues, tighten up belts and this and that, but it is running. Now that's a little 16 horse, I believe is what it is, little off-brand Kubota tractor. Got the high speed and low speed transmission in it. We're turning fast enough, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough power. We gotta have to find out. Because them two blades right there, they're around 18 inch blades, they're in a bind. It's it takes a lot of power to turn two blades at the same time, cut both sides. This edger is actually set up where you can run three or four blades on there and cut smaller stuff. But if we was cutting one bys or two bys, no problem, it'd fly right through it. But when you're cutting six bys, it's got a lot of pull on it, a lot of weight. But I'll just kind of give you an update on it, show you how it's doing. A little sweat coming down, it's, it's hot, y'all.
our six mark. That is actually five and three quarter by five and three quarter. It should get close to uh, nine, if I'm not mistaken. Either six or nine, six positions. I'll show you as we go. It's starting to rain again on us over here. But as long as down there's yet, we okay. Just get well, we gotta get out there and get on the tractor. But uh, we cut six or six and one of the out of this as well. Let's see what he can get. Guys, what we did, you really can't see it, but oh, let me turn. All right, camera. Right on the end. I, I got my camera backwards, so it's hard to see. Nobody shine on there. Okay. Right. Right there. There we go. It's kind of hard to do backwards with this camera. We put a wedge right there. Wayne got on the can hook, and twisted the log, and he held the square on top of the rail in the back. I run a shim in there for him until we got it squared up. We did it on both ends. Now he's gonna take a come off the top, get it squared up, and still get your six and six coming down. But your bottom cut is gonna be messed up now. You gotta remember when you flip it twice, the bottom was no good. You gotta square it back out again. It'll be square to the saw. When you cut with the saw, it'll square it back up. But that's how you get it back in line. It just happens with big logs when they're crooked. You push it up against your side, still when you flip them around, you run into problems. That's why they call it rough cut. To get it perfect, you gotta use a square, you gotta use wedges to get it right on a manual mill. Takes a little bit of time, but we need these six and six perfectly square. We don't get it. I'll show you how much it was out of square. That bottom down the square because of the wedges in there. All right, we got them all flipped. That middle board right there is the one that's going to be out of square. The middle board being out of square, we're still going to cut it at five and three quarter because it's up there. We'll separate them, cut it down to five and a half by five and a half. That's what actually a six by six is. It's five and a half by five and a half. It's the same as a two by six. That's why when you cut everything down to scale, each board equals the same as another board. If, if you understand what I'm saying, it's a two by a six by six and a two by six is the exact same width. And you got your two by fours and four by fours, exact same width. A one by twelve is eleven and an eighth. That equals the same as three two by fours or two two by sixes. That's count. That's when you when you cut down the scale. That's how all that stuff works. So we can still cut it down to five and a half by five and a half. Square it back up. We're still good. Instead of using six by sixes, for a guy that uh, wants them six by sixes, he cuts them down and makes blocks out of them for throwing axes. Axes. Sell them for five and a half by five and a half for posts or beams. Okay. Fine. I think this baby here has got a little bit of a wave in it. Just a little bit. Now what are you doing, Connor? Now why you do that? Because we hit a nail. Yeah, guys, we hit a nail. I heard it go ping. The blade went to doing things. We just come on out of the log with it. Oh, we love it.
today you square them back up. Drop them down to five and a half from five and three quarters. Take a little bit off each side, square them back up. Ready to go. Appreciate y'all. Hope you enjoyed. God bless.